Alright. <clears throat> Let me try and get some decent light here. There we, there we go. Decent enough. So, I'm working on another project, of course. And this one is going to be a bench for here in front of our house. We took the bench that we did have and we placed it in back, so I'm working on another one. Or a new one, rather. And I've got an idea, so let's get started. So yesterday, or the day before, whenever it was, my dad was working on cleaning out some of our garage, and he has informed me that I can use this wood to make the bench. So I've got some, I think they're two by threes, two of these. They'll become the frame of the bench, which is going to be about four feet by 16 inches. I think should work rather nicely. So there's those. And then I was thinking of doing a herringbone pattern on the top of the bench. And I've got some, I don't know what it is. I was thinking possibly it was cedar, but I don't think it actually is. It's a relatively soft board. So I may not end up using that. But then I do have like these strips here that actually are cedar. A um, little bit of pine, some oak. So what I may end up doing is taking a collage of all of them, rip them to the same size, plane them down to be the same thickness, and then stick a pattern down of a couple different varieties of wood across the top of the bench. I think that would look kind of nice. Um, so, with all that being said, and I haven't exactly found what I'm going to use for the legs yet, but it'll probably be scraps of the 2x3. Um, let's get the outermost frame framed up, and then start working on probably the top, the herringbone pattern before we do the legs for underneath it because this way I can ask him how tall exactly he wants this to be. And I should really look at the camera and not the viewfinder on the camera because that's why I stare at you instead of staring off to your side. All right, let's get going and cutting some wood. So I decided to lay out the size that the bench was gonna be on the ground and in the process of doing that, I realized I wanted to make it a little bit longer. So I added in another, I think it was another half a foot to another six inches. And then, you know, make, making sure that it looked nice and would be a decent size. And then I just had to go cut a couple of the, the two by threes down to be the length if they were gonna be on the outside of the, the frame for that. And then for the 16 inches that the frame is deep, I had to subtract a total of three inches, so one and a half inches from each of the, the two by material. And then this way it would be 16 inches on the outside edges. Now, And I did have a, a bit of a problem when I was doing the Craig screws and it carried over, but I mean, I, I was able to remedy the problem. So it wasn't that large of, or that big a deal. 
but the boards that I'm using, the 2x3s, are slightly twisted. And so even though I cut the end square and all, the frame itself wanted to get out of square once I screwed it all together, which was a slight issue, but I was able to remedy that by tossing a couple of washers in between the boards and that squared it out. And then I ended up using some deck screws and screwing it together with that from the outside and then just bypassing the I mean, I, the crank screws are still in there, but they're doing a very minimalistic amount of work right now. But they're rather helpful when I'm actually, you know, sticking the whole thing all together, which is the reasoning why I use them. And there it is. And now I just have to screw it together. Now, of course, I also picked one of the, the hottest days so far in the year to start working on this. And, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it was hot and the sun was shining. That was more of the issue. It was just the sun baking down on me while I'm working on it. But I got the, the frame all done, as you'll, you'll see in a little bit here. And then I ended up taking a break and going canoeing with my sisters. Finishing up, screwing it together. Oh, once again, I probably should have worn a hat, but I've got the uh, frame is screwed together. Again, these are not the, the final screws to hold it in place, but it'll work for now. Uh, what I'm going to do next is actually measure and rip this piece down to size, but I can put that across the center and. Um, well, it's moving along pretty good. And yes, I know, my cut is horribly non-straight, but it's not too big a deal. No one's going to see it. And so I just tossed in a couple of screws on there. Straight screws once again. And then I'll end up screwing that in flush across the top. And that will allow me to anchor the center of the herringbone pattern to something in the center of the bench. That'll fit right in there. And then I'm just at the, the top of the bench right now is flush against the ground. 
This way the center board and the outer edge are all right at the same size. And I can screw them together real nice and easy and they're flush. So one side down. I marked where the center of that was. Stick in the other side. And we're all done working for today. So I shall pick you back up next week with part two.